channel this is Ava with lit rocking candles and today I'm going to show you how I do my leopard print uh, candle tin for my business so with all that said let's get started so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat my candle tin with some Mod Podge and we're just going to put it over and make sure we spread it out evenly we don't want any uh, big blotches because we're going to put glitter on top of this. to go in and uh, add our glitter to the tin. So this is what it looks like once it's fully coated. So what I'm going to do now is let it sit and dry for at least 20 minutes. Okay, so we're back. So this is what my candle tin is looking like after it's dried. So what I want to do now is I'm going to make leopard spots on here so first we're gonna put in the center of the leopard spot and then once those spots dry we're gonna go back and then put an outer layer of the black for the leopard print and then hopefully it should all work out pretty good so let's try it now So I'm going to take, this is a iridescent bronze, so I'm going to take it and this is going to be the center of our leopard spot. And so there we go. That's how it came out so far. So I'm going to continue to just do the whole tin with just the spot. And then after this dries, we're going to apply the black on the outer part.
so this is the final results of just the spots by themselves so I'm gonna let this sit and dry for about 20 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and then we'll do the outer part which is the black uh, part of the leopard spots so we'll see you shortly okay so we're back so now we're gonna come back in and I'm going to put the black on the outside so let's do that now see how that turns out so let me see we're gonna go up here Oh wow, look. And that's how that came out. So we're gonna do do some more. And we're just gonna continue around. spots in between so it'll make it look more like a leopard print but that's pretty much it so let me go in and finish um, adding the extra black little spots in between and then I'll be right back
final results after I finished adding the extra black spots. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and spray paint it with some Rust-Oleum clear spray paint. And then once that dries, I'm going to put it on the turner and add some resin to it. And then that will be it. So let me go spray paint it and then we're going to put it on the turner. I'll be back. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is resin the candle tin. I have about uh, 15 millimeters of, uh, of resin here. So I'm going to just coat my candle tin with the resin.
back. So this is the final result. And I think it came out beautiful. So if you like this type of content, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload my videos. In the meantime, you guys take care and thanks again for watching. See you soon.